So we're here uh, at the offices of CenterCam in San Francisco with Bill Banta, CEO of CenterCam. Uh, so what am I looking at here? So Kyle, this is our latest uh, HD 360 degree video camera. We launched this on Kickstarter a few weeks ago. And basically what it is, is it's a extremely small, extremely powerful little camera that takes HD video off of four independent cameras and it stitches all those videos into one seamless 360 degree view. When you take a picture with your iPhone, you're not actually in the picture. You're, you're, the, you're the ghost behind the camera, as one of our, uh, as one of our beta testers told us. So it's, a, it's the perfect way to kind of be able to take that perfect snapshot and get you to be part of that experience and be part of that picture. We also designed a mount for it that works with the really popular action camera mounts as well as standard tripods. So if you wanted to go on a hike, for example, throw it in a monopod on your backpack, boom, now it's like having your own, your own Google Street View camera. Now, on the table in front of us, we've got a couple of uh, older models and prototypes, it looks like. Sure. Um, we're actually recording with this bigger unit. Um, has there been any loss of quality if you, as you've moved from this kind of big, bulky piece of hardware to you know, this small, friendly looking gadget? We're actually able to add quality because you know, as we go to things that are more and more custom, specifically for us, we're able to get exactly the right sensor and exactly the right lens into the device uh, for our application. So that enables, enables us to actually bring up image quality over time because we're able to get the specific specs in the device that we want for the optimal image quality. Now, going back to some of the even older prototypes, <laughs> I see that we actually have four uh, GoPros strapped to a block of wood. That's right. Um, with those early proof of concepts, did you just capture the footage independently and run the software on like another machine separately? Yeah, so what we did on, uh, on our original proof of concept was basically we hacked four GoPros together so they'd run off one trigger. Um, and then that way when we told one camera to start recording, all, all four would start recording at the same time. And then we would take all that video uh, independently back to our computer and, and start to get, get an idea for what the what the 360 degree video would look like. So this was a great opportunity for us to learn um, about how to make 360 video and how to do it quickly and efficiently. Uh, but over time, you know, we realized we needed to make some, some modifications. We couldn't quite use the, uh, the GoPros right off the shelf. I noticed that, that, and then this more, I guess, complete looking uh, model are all roughly the same form factor and size. Right. But what is this guy? Uh, it's four distinct cameras, they're yeah. all pretty big. So our biggest uh, concern after we did all of our projects with the US military was to really focus on image quality. And we started working with folks like ESPN and Fox Sports to basically bring 360 degree video to pro sports. And to do that, you have to have really, really excellent quality video. And so we put this, uh, this little rig together. It's not the, not the most lightweight or small thing in the world, but it does take really incredible quality video and it lets you do really high resolution, really high frame rate capture, and stream in real time. Is that something that eventually might be made into like a prosumer model, something of that tier quality? Absolutely. Um, also, you briefly mentioned the US military. Uh, what kind of work did you do with them? So we did uh, some really interesting helmet mounted streaming video cameras, both for daytime and night vision applications. So if you can imagine, a uh, soldier you know, going through a cave in the Middle East, being able to stream everything he's seeing in front of him to the left, to the right, and behind him in real time, and then send that video feed to decision makers across the world. It was a pretty, pretty powerful piece of technology. Right now, you have a Kickstarter going. Yep. Uh, so what are you doing with your final push? Well, we're doing a couple things. We've got some really interesting content that we're releasing next week. Uh, we're putting together some more highlight reels just to give people an opportunity to see the different types of content that they can create in a more everyday scenario. And all these types of things, uh, you know, are, I think are really relatable to people. And it's going to give people the opportunity to see, you know, what's fundamentally different about capturing an experience like that in 360 versus capturing it from a single point of view. Right. So another recent development with CenterCam is that you're now working with Oculus to develop footage for use on the virtual reality headset. That's right. So how did that happen? So I mean, obviously, one of the, one of the really interesting things you can do with 360 video is you can create this, this virtual space for people to, to really experience. And obviously, what better platform to, to do that than with an Oculus Rift? So we, uh, just last week, we actually finished the proof of concept. Uh, we dumped a couple different videos onto that platform. We learned a lot about what works, what doesn't from a navigation standpoint. And we learned some interesting uh, tricks because we don't do a full spherical video. Right. So there's some really interesting things we can do with kind of textures and interpolation uh, above and below to really create that immersive experience. So CenterCam as it is today is basically for cell phone 
camera sensors, uh, you know, tied together with software. Mm -hmm. Were there any tweaks you had to make for it to work particularly well with virtual reality? No, uh, you know, the, the guys over at Oculus were super helpful. We've had a, a lot of really interesting dialogue with them about how to optimize our video for that platform. So we'll be able to roll most of those changes into the device that's on Kickstarter right now. And, uh, you know, I think our, our next step is, is to do the live streaming on the Oculus. So have a device over here, have someone sitting in an Oculus over here and literally let them go to the camera and be right. able to look around and experience that in the first person. Which is actually one of the things Facebook has said is one of its goals for Oculus is to be able to put you somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, so that seems like a great way to just have that hardware ready to enable that. Exactly. Um, so will just the standard flash-based player just be able to send footage to Oculus or how will that work? So we've got a, uh, a player that's specifically designed for Oculus. So our content as it is will drop into that player so you don't have to do any extra work on the on the video capture, video editing side. You just take the content, put it in the Oculus, and uh, it'll go from there. Awesome. Um, how much is this going to cost consumers, uh, assuming the Kickstarter goes through and this really comes to market? Yeah, so right now, you can get it for $299 on Kickstarter. So that gives you the opportunity to save $100 off retail. So we plan to go to market at, at $399. Awesome. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Thanks, Kyle.